Today, I'll be taking five iconic and awesome movie scenes and animating them in LEGO. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing that I have to do is choose the five scenes that I want. Which wasn't that easy because there's obviously a whole bunch of movies out there. But after forever of deciding, I decided on the five movies. So with that said, let's get into the first one. So for the first movie that I've decided on, I chose Indiana Jones. And I decided to choose none other than the scene where he steals the golden idol from... Well, the Temple of the Golden Idol. Okay, so the first thing that I have to do before I can start animating is build the set. Okay, I know it's not the best thing ever, but come on, you gotta trust the process here. And all I really needed to work on was just the inside of the temple and just the parts where I was actually shooting the animation. Okay, so this animation actually wasn't all that hard to do. It was really fun, and I used a lot less sticky tech than I thought. But as I'm sure you guys can see, I'm switching out Indiana Jones quite a lot, and it's because I just can't do some things while he's on set, like switch his facial expression as easily. So I placed on another minifigure so that I know where to place him once I'm done switching those things around. And here's the final product. Alright, for the second scene, the movie that I chose was Pirates of the Caribbean. The scene that I wanted to do is the one where Will, Jack Sparrow, and the other guy, I don't know, I forgot his name. But the scene where they fight for the key that unlocks the chest to Davy Jones's heart. Alright, so I got everything all set up for animating. As you can see, I got a TV back there, which is nice. And it'll just play this video of the ocean going. And I got my set right there. This is going to be an awesome stop motion. I love it. So this one was definitely harder to animate compared to the Indiana Jones scene. But I think it looks pretty cool. Some scenes might look a little bit goofy, but I'll try and fix it with the power of editing. But yeah, I couldn't animate the entire scene from the movie in here because I want every scene that I animate to be pretty equal in length but I still think this one turned out really great. Alright, so the third movie that I've decided on was Iron Man. And the scene that I chose was the one from the first movie where he got all suited up with all his robot arms and everything. Just a really iconic scene and I thought it'd be cool to put into stop motion form. Alright, so this one was definitely a bit of a struggle to animate, but it's fine because this one turned out awesome and way cooler than I thought it would have. But I had to definitely improvise on some scenes here because I couldn't do it frame for frame from the original scene, but it's really, really close. and looks awesome. I added in some really cool effects at the end to make it all the better. Alright, so we're on the fourth movie now, and for the movie that I chose was Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. And the choice was obvious here for the scene. Duel of the Fates, with Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon versus Darth Maul, the most iconic scene from this movie. For the particular scene that I did from Duel of the Fates was the part where Qui-Gon dies. I kind of chose the saddest part, but whatever. And the, also the part where Obi-Wan kills Darth Maul. And trust me, these animations usually look way better, because I use an app to animate the lightsabers to make it more realistic. But the app was not working at all, so I promise once I get it working again, I will post a fixed version. <laughs> And for the final movie scene, I decided to choose from the movie Dune. Now, I know that people have a lot of mixed reactions about this movie, but I chose a great scene. The scene where Paul Atreides fights Jamis, or Jamis, I don't remember names. Alright, for the set here, it's quite literally the exact same thing as the pirate set, and I actually really do like the rock work that I did. And as you can see, we got the Arrakis background there, and it looks great. Alright, if I'm going to be honest, I think I had the most fun animating this scene. One thing that was kind of annoying was that the background would just keep blinking out to something else, but it, don't worry, it wasn't in the final animation, and it turned out great. Now, before I show you guys the final animation, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I'm probably going to do a part two because I really had fun doing this. And if you have any movie scene suggestions for the next one, please leave them down below. But anyways, peace out, y'all.
Ah! Uh, uh. 